Silver is in hot demand right now. We sold 81 ounces of secondhand silver within a few hours earlier this week, cutting out the horrendous spot price offers from dealers. It went really well. So I wanna tell you all about how I sold 81 ounces of silver at a really competitive premium. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and welcome to another Precious Metal Ramble. Don't worry, you've not stumbled onto Dictionary Corner because this is no dictionary as you can hear. Inside it there is a mini safe which is another video for its own right but within that safe are 81 ounces worth of silver which we sold earlier this week and it went incredibly well. So in today's video I want to talk about what we were doing, how we were selling and hopefully you guys can gain a little bit of insight and knowledge into how you might want to think about exiting some of your silver if you needed to. If you don't plan, you plan to fail. That's the old adage, I think, along those lines anyway. And the gentleman that wanted to sell this stuff got some pretty hard truths when he approached some dealers and the prices he was quoted were not great. So secondhand market is the way to go. And that's where we came in because we helped him sell them. So a lot to get through. I really do think it's quite interesting to hear other people's experiences. That's why we do these kind of videos. So do share your own silver selling or buying experiences from the secondhand market down in that comment section. Also, we've got a sneak peek at the end of this video of what's to come on Friday. It's big, it's amazing. Let me know what you think is in here down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed and you wanna see what this is, then you can either stick around to the end. If I'm very generous, I'll give you a sneak peek. But Friday is when we'll be showing that. Anyway, onwards with the video. 81 ounces of silver. What's in here and how did it all come to be here on the backyard bullion table? So this gentleman uh, approached me through social media and uh, was asking about whether or not I would purchase the coins that he had and um, I was thinking about it and you know for me at the moment I've got I'm spinning like 27 million plates in the air so I was like well no I, I don't really have the, the capital the cash flow to kind of just buy them all in bulk right now uh, and I didn't really want to lowball offer him like a dealer that's not the kind of person that I am that's not the kind of business that I run uh, you know offering him spot price or the equivalent that most dealers will and in fact did just seems seems morally wrong in my opinion because I know that they're worth more than spot price. I know that might sound a bit strange to those of you out there that are not sort of very familiar with the precious metal world, but spot price is kind of a bit of an illusion when it comes to coins like this. It's like the rock bottom price that you might expect for the coins. So instead, I mean, I've done this before for other people over on the Silver Forum. Uh, you may well have seen some of my community posts in the past. You may well even be a customer of our intermediary services. I said to him, look, I'd be happy to list them for sale for you. You know, if you send them to me, I will check them over, you know, check they're all real and uh, Sigma verify them and weights and balances checks and all of that. And then I can list them for sale. And if people are interested and want to buy them at the prices that the seller chooses, that he chose, um, then they pay you directly, job done. I'll send them out to the new customers, which I'll be doing after this because they all went within a few hours. It was quite um, quite maddening really to see how fast it all sold. So yeah, it was, it was really good to do that. You know, I, of course, charging a little bit for my time, completely open, transparent here. I got one pound an ounce for doing this. Um, which I think is actually a really quite fair rate considering we ended up getting just about 20, I think it was an average of 24 pounds an ounce and then there was a little bit coming off for things like postage. So, you know, when you compare that with the dealers that were gonna be offering 16, 50, 17 pounds an ounce, maybe if he was lucky, 18 an ounce, 19 an ounce for the Britannias, you can automatically see. So that, by the way, that 24 an ounce that we got him was after the one pound an ounce that I got as my little fee. So I do think we offered a very good service, a very good value for money approach in terms of, you know, the, the legwork that he did. I actually met this guy in person and picked up the coins. So, you know, for, from his perspective, uh, cause he was local to me, I'm not gonna drive all around the country of course, but from his perspective, he, you know, I turned up, he gave me the coins. Um, I took them and listed them on my website, did a few photos of them all. Um, and then they were gone. So it worked really well and I'm quite excited about the sort of idea. I've always toyed with the idea of doing like a, a backyard bullion kind of 
exchange thing because I do think there is this I do think there's a market for it I'm just so busy at the moment I don't know if I've got the time to realistically put some energy into it but certainly on the small scale I'd be more than happy to continue doing things like this but I think there is a market for this kind of bullion ex exchange swap shop type thing where um, sellers can sell at a competitive price and buyers can buy at a, at a competitive price but still have this kind of safety and security of this um, you know, second-hand market. You know, if you're buying on sort of eBay or the Facebook marketplace or even uh, through other social media platforms, there is always a risk. There is, you, know, you never know quite what you're getting. If you're brand new to silver and you don't quite know how to test uh, or you don't have the equipment to test silver, um, it can be quite difficult to really, you know, be sure that you're getting what you're getting and what you're getting is real. So I kind of like the idea of that and I would like to explore it. I mean, I'd be happy to help people on sort of a, you know, an ad hoc basis, but, you know, going into the whole rigmarole of setting up a website, advertising it and uh, doing that makes me shudder with fear considering how much other work we've got on right now. It's, uh, it's, it's never been as busy as I've been, which is great. Don't get me wrong, but just don't have the time to set up a new venture. But the point here is that uh, this seller was, was able to release, I hate the eagle tubes by the way, was, was able to release the uh, equity in his silver at relatively short notice. So all told, it was around, well, it was Monday lunchtime that I picked them up and it was all sold by five o'clock, four hours. And that includes an hour and a half of me photographing all the coins and setting up the listings via my website. So, you know, it, it really was uh, a pretty quick turnaround when you Sort of factor in everything to get close to uh, uh, 1,900 pounds in the seller's pocket. Now, what I thought was really interesting as well is that the coins that we listed, they, you know, they weren't spot price, so they were at a premium. But I think there's this demand for them still. The market is such right now that you know, paying 20, what well, we charge 25 an ounce for the Britannia's here in capsules. You know, it's maybe 50p on top for each capsule or whatever, but. You know, that price point for these, I think, is still quite a good price. I mean, I remember looking back to, you know, the heydays when silver was dirt cheap from Europe. And even in the UK on places like eBay and various other social media markets, outside of perhaps the silver forum where everybody is, uh, for want of a better phrase, tight and happily only to pay essentially spot or just a bit above for their silver sometimes. But the point is that even a few years ago, silver was going for 20, 23 pounds an ounce or more. So to see that now with the spot price higher up than it used to be and the you know increase in kind of demand and premiums, I think is only evident that this stuff is spot value undervalued, but also very, very much still in demand. So from that perspective, yeah, definitely you can get this great price point. And to compound all of this, of course, because the, um, the whole uh, you know, post Brexit, not able to get VAT free silver uh, kind of affair that we find ourselves in. There is this demand, I think, for anything that you can get that is below sort of the dealer's asking prices. And that's where I kind of want to wrap up with this video by talking about sort of the dealer element of this. Now, I'm not calling out individual dealers regarding their, you know, pricing mechanisms. They're a business. They've got to make money at the end of the day. And I don't begrudge anybody that for making money on this. You know, I made money on this trade myself. 81 ounces. I made 81 pounds. You know, for a, what, three hours work? Not even. I mean, it was like one hour work to take the photos. Um, and then maybe I'll spend an hour and a half packaging all this up and sending it out. You know, it's a pretty good hourly rate, all things told. And I think it represents good value as well. Certainly better than what the dealers will do. Now, the dealers will offer perhaps a little bit above for certain coins like Britannia's, but generally speaking, you're gonna be getting spot. And I think a lot of people get really disheartened by this. They think their exit strategy will be, I'll just sell it to a dealer. And Yes, you can get a good quick turnaround. That's realistically what you're paying for here. If you go and sell these right now to a dealer, that's the only benefit that you're going to yield from it. You've got to put in some legwork to do the you know the heavy lifting of the silver to actually get the proper value out from it. Now, this seller was looking for a pretty quick turnaround. I wasn't really privy to what the financial circumstances were, why he needed a relatively quick turnaround, and he was happy with pricing things anywhere from 23 to sort of 25 an ounce, and they still sold really quick. You know, we could have put 
a little bit more on each coin. We could have asked for £28 an ounce for the, these Britannias. We could have asked for £30 an ounce for the silvers, and I still think some of them would probably have sold. It just would have been a lot slower. So you can really see kind of the difference there. And also for this guy, you know, if he was to just randomly list them on eBay, is he going to draw in enough buyers? Maybe, but he's going to put himself at risk. If he goes on somewhere like the Silver Forum and he's brand new and he doesn't have any feedback, any trading history, are people going to be willing to throw £2,000 his way on the you know, hearsay that he might be good to his word? Difficult. So he's not necessarily going to get it done quickly. So having that sales background, having that sales history, that record is really important. I've done videos on this countless times before that I think it is one of the most invaluable things that you can do if you're a silver stacker to just test the waters and sell a little bit of silver. You know, it makes me really quite content in my stack strategy to know that I could list my entire silver stack at £22 an ounce on my website and I'd sell it all probably within a couple of days. Now, of course, the more that you list, the less buyers will be, you know, they'll have already bought and so on, but I still think it holds true that having this sales history, having this background, this social media presence really makes a difference and it's something definitely to be thinking about. So all things told, I think we did a very good job for this and I'm quite excited to uh, of course do it again if we can maybe one day when I've got the energy and the time more specifically the time I think I have the energy for it I enjoyed doing it yesterday there's nothing quite like it when you have this sort of smorgasbord of silver and it goes very quickly and the the website's pinging with orders every few minutes it's great there's a real rush to it but I would like to do it more in time and I think setting up this kind of bullion exchange website where sellers can send me their silver, I can check it, list it, people can buy it and pay the, pay the uh, sellers directly, get best prices for sellers, get best prices for, um, for buyers and sellers, I should say, and cut out the huge profits that the dealers make. So to put it in perspective, if he'd sold it to dealers, you know, getting, let's call it optimistic, 18 an ounce for these, the dealers would have turned around and sold them for 28 an ounce. They're making £10 an ounce. £10 an ounce just on a Britannia. Probably more. Possibly more on things like the Maples if they bought them at spot and sold them at a similar price. But people still buy from these and sell to them. I get that, yeah, the emergency must have cash right now factor probably plays into it. But, you know, it is what it is. And as I said, I don't not calling out individual dealers and not begrudging them. That's what they've done and will do for a very long time. They offer that service in that respect. But surely there's an intermediary margin there that needs to be happened. And, you know, even by just taking one pound an ounce for myself, which I think is a really, I mean, a lot of times I think that was actually probably quite a cheap deal. Um, it work, I think it works out about 5%, just under 5%, which is, of course, half of what eBay does. So, you know. Anyway, look, it is what it is. I thought it went really well, and I'm very proud of that fact. So now I have to package up all of these items to their new owners, which is going to be my next sort of hour and a bit's worth of my day. But there we have my experiences selling 81 ounces of silver. It went very well, and I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. If you have had similar experiences, <coughs> excuse me, losing my voice, or if you have had similar uh, sort of experiences with dealers getting low ball offers and feeling a bit disheartened by it. It'd be great to hear from you. And if you are in a position that you're looking to sell some stuff, then please do feel free to get in touch and we can hopefully do a similar arrangement like this uh, for you. Uh, my email is down in the description box below. It's byb at backyardbullion.com. If you've been watching to this point, what we at nearly 14 minutes in the video, I think you're you're in the cool kids club. You're definitely worth rewarding. Here it is. This is what we've got for Friday. Yep, it's big, it's shiny, it's beautiful. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see that in more detail, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you one and all for watching. It's been a pleasure and we'll see you on the next video. Have a fantastic week ahead and as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.